Hello, y'all. We are back at the film festival. I'm here with Jordan. Jordan, how are you? I'm doing great. Good. Is this your first film festival? Uh, yes. The first one I've been in, yeah, the first one I've been in, like, in is uh, my, uh, uh, I guess, first time in Fort Smith as well. So, nice. Yeah. Well, congratulations. We're happy to have you. Yes. Uh, what's your title? Obviously, you're a filmmaker. What's the title of your film? Yes, it's a uh, for Cry Time, and I served as the DP on that project. Nice. And without any spoilers, give yes. us a little bit of the backstory to it. Um, it is a film about um, a student that is uh, for stress, like during their uh, like exam week, and so they schedule um, a little bit of a time to uh, to cry. Absolutely. <laughs> to prepare for that, and so uh, yeah, and so there's like other things that happen as well. But yeah, I love that. Yeah. Um, what is the inspiration you got off of it? Like, uh, what was the inspiration? Um, so the other uh, writer and director uh, could not be here today, so that's why I'm here. Um, so I'm glad to I'm, have you. <laughs> thank you. So I think that it was inspired by. Her, her like experience with her exams. Absolutely. <laughs> because I think she needed that um, at times. So how long did it take you guys to film? Um, we shot for two days. Okay. Um, and it was very interesting because it, it was a, um, a student project at uh, Arkansas where like I go to school at. Yeah. And it was, um, it was at like, it, oh, we filmed it two years ago. So we didn't okay. have like the program like fully really built out. So we only had like, tube lights yeah and one like aperture 300d and so we kind of just made do with just like the very small amount of lights we had absolutely yeah. i was going to ask um what's your one of what was one of your favorite things about the film and then what was the most challenging things about the film the most challenging thing we had was we uh it was shot in a uh like, like a library and it was very uh difficult to light that big of a space when yeah. we had our wide shot um, because we had so few lights at the time. Um, so that was the most challenging part. The thing I liked the most was the, uh, the close-ups, like on the desk, like in the library, they have these like, they're like, uh, study lights. And they, they have like a really like, I guess like a nice soft glow when they're bounced off of the desk. So that, that, that's what I felt was like the best part for me as Absolutely. a DP was like, yeah. Well, I uh, so I, I went. I graduated high school in 2020, and then I wish that before my ACT, we just had a time to like, cry. Yeah. So I'm really excited to go and see it. Nice. Um, so I do actually have one last question. Yes. Um, so for the viewers at home wanting to film, make, um, direct, write, do you have any advice for them, or a DP as well? I feel like it's just the advice everyone gives, but yeah. just like to to just do whatever you can at first and it always just grows from that so just like shoot whatever you can just do whatever project you can um even if you're not like a big fan of the story or you don't have the best equipment just start shooting and then right. it kind of can evolve from there thank you so much for your time and it was really amazing getting to interview you well cool thank you very much you too yes i appreciate it yeah. yes.